welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am back to do my April wrap up and my May TBR. So in the month of April I managed to read three books and for the most part I enjoyed them all. And in the month of May I have quite an ambitious TBR. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys what I read in April. So the first book I ran, managed to read in April I actually started in March. That book is The Valiant by Lovely Livingston. This book was the Free Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of March. So I did actually start reading in March, but I finished it at the beginning of April. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this book. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I did enjoy it for the most part. I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It wasn't my favorite, but I do um, think I am going to continue on with the series because I believe there is a second book. I'm not sure how many books are there are going to be in the series. Um, but I will see, we'll see what I think with this next book if I do decide to read it in the future when it comes out. The second book has been on my TBR for months and I am so excited that I finally got to read it because the third book in the series comes out actually tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And that book is A Court of, uh, Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is the first book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. I believe this series is actually going to be a six book series, but uh, the first three books are... Um, different than the last three books, so it's technically a trilogy, and I love this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I read Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass series last year. If you guys have seen my review of that, if um, you know my thoughts on that, I absolutely loved it. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on the Throne of Glass series, but I think this I might actually enjoy this series a lot more than Throne of Glass. I'm not sure yet. If you guys are not familiar with this uh, series, this follows our main character, Feyre, and one day she is a hunter. She's out hunting in the woods and she kills a wolf, and all seems normal. She thinks it's a normal wolf until a mysterious creature, which is called a fey, comes to her house and technically kind of kidnaps her and brings her to the fairy la uh, land um because she killed a fae, which she didn't know. And it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, so there is a lot of romance, there's a lot of action. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm so excited to continue on with the series. And the last book I managed to read in the month of April was Royce, uh, Royce Rolls by uh, Margaret Stoll. This was the Perusia Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of April. I was not a fan of this book. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I just... Thought I ha had a lot more high expectations um, going into this book. I expected it to be fantastic, and overall, I just did not enjoy it. This book is follows our main character Bentley Royce, and she lives in this family which has a television show, kind of like Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Um, in the TV show, it's called Rolling with the Royces, and she wants to escape this life. She wants no part of this TV show family anymore. However, that all changes and because the show is supposed to be canceled after six seasons of being on there. One day, right before her sister's uh, big TV show, made for TV kind of wedding, uh, she is in a car crash, and it kind of takes off from there. Like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of it, um, but it was interesting for the most part, and I will have a full review up on my blog, which will be later up later on tonight. If you guys are interested, that is linked down below. Now getting into the books I'm going to read in May, I have a whole stack of books and my schedule is going to be so busy the next week and a half because I have final exams coming up for college, uh, which is next Tuesday, so I'm going to be very, very busy with that, And but I hope to man hopefully, cross my fingers, read a good majority of these books. Most of them are not too long, so that's a good thing, so uh, I'm pretty excited to read them all. So the first book... On my TBR is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. This is book two in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I started reading this in April and I am like 100 pages into it. I'm actually really enjoying it so far. This is uh, the first book, like I said, is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling, which I love Hades and Persephone retelling, so I'm really excited to get farther into this book and can you tone you on with this amazing world that Sarah J. Mass has created. The next book I have on my TBR is this book, and it's called Invitation. This is by Bill Myers, Frank Peretti. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. Angela Hunt and Alton Gansky. This is a mystery thriller novel that was sent to me for review by the publisher. So thank you so much to them for sending me this. 
Um, all you pretty much know is this is a short story collection that is a thriller mystery novel, and that's pretty much it. But I'm really looking forward to reading this, and I hope that I will enjoy it because I've been wanting to get more into mysteries and thrillers. Speaking of that genre, the next book is also, you're going to see a lot of that genre on this list, by the way. The next book is called The 15th of June by Brent Jones. This is also sent to me for review by the author, so thank you so, so much to him for sending me this. This, again, is a uh, mystery thriller novel that follows our main character, Drew, and he is a, he's struggled with alcoholism, and he's been antisocial for the majority of his life, and I'm sorry, I'm reading off the back of this book, um, and it, that's pretty much all I'm getting for this novel, but it sounds really, really, really interesting, and hopefully I'll enjoy it, because I was contacted by the author a couple of weeks ago saying that this has been getting fantastic reviews on Amazon and Goodreads, so hopefully I will enjoy it as well. And the next book was also sent to me for the review by the author, and this book is called NSA, and it's by Benny Nilon. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name wrong. This is a, I think it's a literary fiction novel. I really don't know much else about it. It does involve the NSA, so that sounds really interesting. I know it has to kind of do with politics. I believe this is an adult fiction novel, so, but that's pretty much all I know about it. I'm really excited to read it, and hopefully I'll enjoy it as well. The next book I have on my GBR is one that is pretty well known here at BookTube, and that book is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This was given to me by my best friend for Easter. If you guys have seen my most recent book haul, I'll have it linked down below. Um, that She really enjoys this book. It is uh, now a Netflix TV show, which I've been really interested in watching uh, ever since it came out. And it follows our main character. His name is Clay. And one day he finds his uh, box full of cassette tapes on his doorstep pretty much from a girl named Hannah who went to the same school as is, and she has recently committed suicide, and on these tapes is the reasons why she actually ended up killing herself. And like I said, I've heard fantastic things about this on BookTube, as well as from family and friends, so hopefully I will enjoy it as well. The next book was also sent to me for a review by the author. I have a lot of review books on this TBR, so... Uh, I only have a couple more to talk about, though. This book is called uh, Vile Spark by Leah Devlin, and this is what it looks like. This is a, I think it's a fantasy novel or historical fiction that involves pirates, which is really, really cool. I like learning about pilot, pirates. I really enjoy those kinds of things, so that's all I'm getting off of this book, but hopefully I'll enjoy it. And the last review novel on this list is called Focusing Emptiness, and this is by Michael P. Staples. This is a non-fiction book. Um, it's an autobiography, and this, from what I got when I was sent this for review, it reads like a fiction novel, like a mystery thriller, which is really, really cool, and that's pretty much what I got out of it when I first was contacted about it, and that's really what drew me in, so I have been meaning to read this for months, and I am hoping to get to it very, very soon. The next book has also been on my TBR for a couple months now. That book is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is book two in the Heroes of Olympus series. I am borrowing this from my cousin, so if you guys are wondering why it has duct tape on it, she pretty much uh, lost the dust jacket, so she didn't want her book to get ruined, so she put duct tape over it, so that's why the cover is missing. But this is, like I said, the book second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I read the first book in February and really enjoyed it and really just should keep... Continuing on with the series, it's the sequel to Percy Jackson. If you guys have read that series, this is a sequel series, and I loved Percy Jackson when I read it last year. So I'm hoping I will love this series just as much. And the last book on my TBR for this month is a book that, again, has been on my TBR for a few months now, and that was Legion by Veronica Roth. This is the third book in the Divergent trilogy. I read Divergent and Insurgent back in November, I believe, and really enjoyed bo rereading both of them. Um, but I never continued on to the third book, so hopefully, even though I've seen the movie adaptation, or par at least part one of it, um, I really want to get to this book so I can finish up the series and say that I have finished it for good. And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all the videos I have mentioned linked down below if you guys would like to in hear any of my thoughts on certain books or other things that I mentioned in this video. I also have all my social media linked down below. You can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads as Evil Queen Books. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you guys as my followers because you guys are all amazing. And I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.